What's up, everybody? I hope this video finds you all happy and healthy. I wanted to thank you all for telling me which were, in your opinion, the best rounds by Briades, even though a lot of you didn't necessarily think he won. Which, which wasn't the point, right? I wanted you to tell me which were his best rounds, right? That maybe could have gone to him. And from what I gather, a lot of people thought, and those rounds got the most votes, that Briades did best in the first four rounds. The ninth round was a round that a lot of people just outright gave to him. So we're not even going to look at that round because I thought he clearly won that round. And when I said he took one round from Usyk, what I meant by that was that was the ninth was the only round that you could not have given to Usyk. All the other rounds you could have given to Usyk. That was my point. The only round that Briedis, in my opinion, took from Usyk where you, you couldn't give it to Usyk was the ninth. And that's it. That's it. And let's recap uh, Hatman's scorecard just for the fuck of it. Hatman gave Usyk the fifth and the seventh and had the sixth round even. So he gave Usyk two rounds, guys. Two fucking rounds. Crackhead. Crackhead. <laughs> man, you got to have some serious hate for the man to... It is what it is. Anyway, but, you know, if you go listen to that video, right off the bat, he's chuckling, right? He's having a laugh, right? I always knew what the expression meant, but it really dawned on me where that, maybe, perhaps, that saying comes from. It, it was just so literal, right? He was fucking chuckling. He was having a laugh. He's just a deceitful very dishonest person. It is what it is, man. He didn't even believe the shit he was saying. Go listen to that video. He's having a laugh. He wants to discredit the whole fucking tournament. Because he doesn't want the winner. That's going to be Usyk, most likely. He doesn't want that guy to be credible. He's upset because this is the best tournament in the history of fucking boxing. You name me a better tournament. The... The top, all the semi-finalists are in the top fucking five of the division. I don't give a shit what rating you look at. They're top five in the division. Four of the semi-finalists. That's crazy. I don't think there's ever been a tournament between the top five in the division. And I believe all the guys at the beginning of the tournament were top ten or just about. So that's just crazy. Govatsky and uh, Lebedev, I think, were the only ones that are not in the tournament that were also in the top 10. But seeing as Usyk beat Govatsky and Gassiev beat Lebedev, we could uh, forgive the organizers for not having those guys in there, right? Of course. But anyway, we already talked about the first round. And... Yeah, you could have given the first round to Briedis. I thought Usyk was better. I thought he threw more punches. I thought his punches were the more telling punches, like that jab he just landed. He landed more punches. I thought he landed better punches. And I thought he was the more aggressive one and controlled the center of the ring more so than the other way around. But it is subjective, you know. We don't, we're not taking these punches. We don't know how good these punches are. And Briedis landed a good amount too. And it was close and competitive. So you, I guess you could have given it to Briedis. I don't know why you would bend over backwards to do that. But hey, maybe he won that round. But, you know, for me, it was the last. The round was so even. Like, look at this. None of this lands, guys. These aren't scoring blows. Right? That's not a scoring blow. That's not a scoring blow. Nothing there. Well, kind of maybe got through there. Hard to see. Got him with the jab. It was 
the last five seconds of the round clinched it for me because in those last five seconds, um, Usyk, Usyk landed two punches, two pretty good punches, and I thought he finished strong. In a round that was really close, I thought he just he did a little bit better in the end. What sucks over here is that I have, I can't see the timer for the round. It's been cropped out. So I don't know how far into the round we are. So we're just going to finish watching this first round. Right, Briedis is not landing anything. And it looked to me like he just got cracked and pushed up right there. Those two punches. See how he got just got hit with the very short. And look. It's difficult to see Usyk's punches sometimes because they're very short, right? Nothing there. A miss. Behind the head, right? Nothing there. Boom. Right? Takes a short right hook. Gets sent back. And then right at the bell, Usyk goes around the guard. Maybe didn't land very cleanly. I don't know. But that's what clinched the round for me. For Usyk. But, you know, a lot of people gave that round to Briedis. And you could do that. But we're going to be objective. And we're just going to call that an even round. Right? No no one won that round. You can, If you can make a strong case for either guy, then why not just call it an even round? Let's just be objective. Instead of bending over backwards, giving rounds to Briedis. Because you hate Usyk. And you don't want Usyk to get the credit. When, at the same time, some of the same people, as somebody pointed out, so... Um, brilliantly in the comments. They were bending over backwards, giving Perez rounds when he fought Briedis, right? So they're not Briedis fans. They're, they just want to discredit this tournament because the guys that they um, support, simply because of their skin color, let's keep it real, uh, you know, they're not doing so well. Dortico is, but that's about to end. Unless I'm wrong. Anyway, round two. God... A lot of votes. Not everybody said that he won that round, but it was one of his best rounds. So let's check out round two. Let's see how Briedis did. Usyk is controlling the center of the ring. Briedis tries to take it, but really can't. No one's really landing anything. A little jab by Usyk, right? Another jab by Usyk. Briedis land anything? No, but he just took two punches, didn't he? Bam. Another jab. They're not monster punches, but they did uh, break his nose. I don't know if it was broken, but made his nose bleed and busted up his eye, right? So, nothing there. Boom, right? Just walked him into an uppercut. Boom, body shot. Briedis is swinging wildly and he's getting countered, right? Another jab. Maybe he touched him with something there. Landed a body shot, but took punches right back, right? Let's slow this shit down. Nothing, right? He landed on the elbow. Look at that. You see? Body shot. Two body shots, but takes a hook back. See how Briedis' punches are missing? They're not landing, guys. It just took a shot maybe maybe on the chest there, right? Took a counter. Missed. Uh, they both missed each other. No one landed anything there. He's got him on the ropes, right? Slaps. But he lands to the body, but nice. Nice left hand, right? Body shot. Nothing, nothing. None of the scores. It's not a scoring blow, guys. <laughs> you got to land cleanly. You got to land with the knuckles. And you got to land in the scoring area. Bam. Just took a left hand, right? A little touch jab and a left hand. Just took a hook. Blocked the upper, uppercut. Took a jab and another one. Right? Bam. Jab to the body. Left hand upstairs. Just took... See? He stepped in and just took a jab. Look at that. Boom, see how he took that jab on the way in? Didn't land anything, blocked. Nothing there. Punching at the gloves, took a jab back, right? 
Bree, this is the ring general now. They just exchanged some punches there. I don't think Bree has landed anything. Usyk did. You see? Usyk lands. Bree just misses. There he touched him with the with the right hand, but took a stronger jab back, right? See, this is the thing. People look at CompuBox stats, which are inaccurate to begin with. They're never accurate. And then they look at how many jabs a guy landed and how many power punches a guy landed. But you got to watch these fights, you you fucking paper trailers and box rec warriors and, and statisticians. It doesn't, it doesn't matter how many jabs, how many power shots anybody landed. Because as you just saw, a jab could be a better, more powerful shot than a power shot. This is nonsense, man. See? Body shot, but takes takes a hook right back, right? Maybe just took a jab right there. Missed. Missed. Just took a jab again, right? And a left hand. And got backed up, right? Show me show me where Briedis is backing up Usyk like that. Like this. Boom. A jab backs him up. A left hand backs him up, right? Body shot, doubles him over a little bit, touches him with the little jab, maybe doesn't score. Okay, so Briedis steps in with the body shot, but we can't really see if it lands or not. But we'll give him credit. No, he landed. But he took one right back, and he took a little, not a very clean punch, but a little hook jab, right? But he's pushing... Just took, a <laughs> just took a right hook, right? Smack, right? Takes a right hook. And maybe blocks that body shot, right? But gets backed up. Now, Usyk is getting backed up, but it's the pressure, not so much the punches. He's not getting hit cleanly and backed up. Like what he's doing to Briedis. He's just getting hit. See? Gloves. Maybe got around a little bit. Eh, grazed him with the body punch. Bosik pivots out of there and grabs the center of the ring, right? And attacks him and pushes him back. That's how you push a guy back with punches. Aggressiveness, right? He got, he got not really pushed back there, but he backed away from those shots. Briedis wants to come forward right now, right? Bam! Gets smacked with the right hook and a left hand and gets backed up with punches. He comes back with a clean punch. Now Usyk is backing away, fighting off the ropes. Goes back to the center of the ring. Bam! Did you see Usyk just drop that strafing jab or whatever that was? Right? Spins around. Nothing there. Maybe touched him with the jab, missed the left, boom, right? And Briedis misses. Takes another jab and gets backed up, right? Doesn't land anything. All gloves. Look, he's landing on the, like, yeah, he's, look, if no punches get landed or no punches of no get landed, this deserves mention, right? This deserves to be scored. When you're hitting the opponent's glove, right? Glove, glove. Just probing shots, not really anything. Tries to pull the glove down there. Maybe he hits him. We can't really tell. Okay, we'll give him credit for that. And touches him to the body, but gets cracked right back, right? Maybe lands there. Usyk's gloves are always up, right? He gets him to the body with the jab. Maybe took a jab, but answered back with the right hook. No one landing anything too powerful. Took a body shot, but gave a body shot, right? Usyk was great. Nothing there from Briedis. Usyk was great in this fight um, and showed true champion spirit by um, getting his lick back. Every time Briedis landed something, Usyk answered. Right? Answers the body shot with the body shot. 
Briedis is hitting gloves. Look at that. Maybe he gets through here and there, but when, when Usyk throws at him, Briedis' gloves are down. And when Briedis is throwing, for the most part, Usyk's gloves are up. Usyk clearly won this round. He outlanded him probably 2-1. to one. Look how happy he is going back to his corner. He outboxed him. He outboxed him in this round. Look at that. There's no way you could give the second round to Briedis. What the fuck did he do in the second round? Not die? He didn't get outclassed? He didn't get damaged, destroyed? He didn't get killed? That doesn't mean he won the round. I don't see how you could give the second round to Briedis based on what? And that was, that was according to most people, that was one of his better rounds. But Usyk clearly won the round. Jesus, people, watch these fights or tell me what I got wrong. I'm not perfect, but I don't see how he won the second round. Third round, let's go. Bam, clean jab, right? This is what I mean. Usyk gets through cleanly, you see? And backs him up, snaps his head back and backs him up. Briedis is able to, looks like, get the left hand in there. No, it's a low blow and grazing. No score. <laughs> oh, God. He's losing the probing game. I know that much. Nothing from Briedis. He's pressuring. He's the ring general. But he didn't land anything there. Usyk touched him, but we're not going to score that, except for that jab he just landed. Bam, body shot. Maybe landed cleanly. Backed him up for sure. Did Briedis just land the right hand? Eh, it looked like he landed that body punch. Backed him up for sure. Touched him with the jab, but we won't score that. They both miss, right? They miss. Now, Briedis is the ring general right now, for sure. Lands another low blow. Are you guys scoring low blows? Look, this is what pisses me off. When, when you start complaining about low blows and then people start complaining about you complaining. And it's like, look, man. I'm not saying points need to be deducted. I'm not saying we got to chastise the low blower necessarily. Shit happens, right? A lot of these low blows aren't intentional. I get it. But don't go fucking scoring low blows because it's not a punch landed in the scoring area. That's really my point. A lot of you clowns score low blows and that's retarded just like in the Lomachenko Solito fight. You have to acknowledge their low blows. Don't but but this urge to like defend guys that land low blows, why do people do it? Because they want to score nonsense. It's bullshit. And let's not fucking act like Briedis wasn't a dirty ass fighter in this fight like he didn't land a lot of low blows anything on the belt is a low blow keep your punches above the belt anything on the belt is a low blow unless otherwise specified by the referee so Usyk's got the slight advantage so far another low blow you guys scoring this shit you see that Another fucking low blow. There's no... The scoring area is not available. You see? Where? Where is he going to land? Low. And that's exactly what he just did. No score, people. Should be getting warned by the referee. You see, Usyk tries to answer because he just got low blowed. So he says, fuck it, I'm going to go low too. Stop the bullshit. Right? And then takes another low blow. No score. And lands a jab. Right? And takes a left hand. He backs away from the left hand, taking the power off it. But maybe he lands on the chest. I don't know. Maybe he landed on the face. Very even round so far. All those punches were blocked. Look like Usyk just got through right there. Bam, you see? And maybe Braidis did too. Nothing there, nothing there. Both guys had very good defense. Nice clean jab, right? Head snapping, clean jab. Show me punches like that from Briedis. 
They both miss, maybe graze each other. Touch jab to the body. We won't score that. Boom. That's a scoring blow. Well, look at Briedis. What is he hitting, guys? Come on. What is he hitting? Well, just took another jab, right? Maybe touched him to the body. I don't think so. Forearm. Forearm. Or tricep. And bam! Takes a jab. Clean jab on the mouth, right? Briedis is not scoring. Usyk is. Answered, but we won't... I don't think it even touched him. Maybe it grazed him. Punching gloves. Bam, another clean jab. And a clean left hand. Backs him up, right? Answers. Answers with a nice counter left hook. Glove is in the way, but he scores. Misses the right hand. Boom! Takes a clean left hand right on the jaw, right? Rocks him. Sends him back. Man, how the fuck did he win these rounds, man? I'm getting pissed off watching this shit. He's getting a boxing lesson. Did he just take another jab? I don't know, but he didn't land. It looked like he took another couple of jabs. Did that left hand land? Better not have. I'm going to get real pissed off if it did. <laughs> Boom, jab, right? Eh, maybe it didn't score. That one did. Through the guard. No, that didn't land. He answers, but look at where Usyk's gloves are. He ain't landing shit. Maybe he kind of went around the gloves there, but it's not like you can see, right? And if you can't see it, why are you scoring it? Because you're just bending over backwards to give Briedis rounds? Fuck out of here. And he took a counter, look like. So, bam. Vicious, disgusting headbutt. Same kind of headbutt Perez landed on, on him in the second round, I believe, right? Why, why is he headbutting? He for damn sure got cracked there. Why is he headbutting and low-blowing? Why? Because he's getting a boxing lesson and he's getting frustrated. You see that? That's how he marked up Usyk first and foremost. Disgusting fucking headbutt. Blatant. Intentional. See? Marked him up. That's how Usyk got marked up. Look at that fucking hematoma. Rising, growing. But he's getting schooled in this round, isn't he? Mm, I don't think he landed a jab there. Maybe he landed one there. But for damn sure, Usyk is controlling him. Bam, lands another jab. Another jab. <laughs> now Briedis jumps him. Let's slow it down. These guys are pretty fast. It's hard to see what's going on. Come on now, player. Oh, I hate when this happens. I'm going to have to back it up. See how he's controlling him with the jab? Boom! Catches him with an uppercut, maybe, grazing. Doesn't really take anything in, re in return. And taps him with the little jab. Eh, you know. Okay, fine. He got touched there, but his jabs were better than than those little like tap hooks right and they're not even on the front of the face the jab is constantly in his face just took a left hand to the chest it looked like another jab he took now he has him on the ropes bam left hand right clean left hand backed him up nothing maybe on the chest maybe Nothing, right? Nothing. Around the guard, maybe. Maybe. But those are not clean punches, people. How do you compare this, like, around the guard slap that's partially blocked, right, and grazing to a jab that's maybe equally as powerful but straight on, knuckle first, and snaps your head back? Like right there. Not that one. That one. See? Boom! Boom! Show me one. <laughs> Come on, people. Bam. Show me one punch in the whole fight. Like that from Briedis. Show me one. And another one. And another one. Rock them off balance. Right? How the fuck did Briedis win the third round? How? 
Look to me like he got outlanded two to one. Usyk landed the better punches. Rocked them, pushed them back. I'm not saying Briedis didn't land anything, but it was partial blows, a lot of blocked stuff, nothing very effective at all. There's no way in hell you could give Briedis the third round. What did he do? These are Briedis' best rounds, people. God, I'm so annoyed. Anyway, let's just do the fourth round, and, and we're going to leave it at that because I think I will have made my point. If these are Briedis' best rounds, I mean, come on, people. Did he just take a jab? I think so. Maybe not. We won't give it to Usyk. Left hand to the body. Another jab. I'm not saying they're landing very cleanly, but there's something there, right? Another jab. What's, what's Briedis doing? He's trying to counter, right? See the probe game? Befuddling him. Boom. Maybe landed there. Uh, maybe an uppercut on the chest. Maybe. Briedis misses and even if you were to land, those punches are blocked. Nah. Touches him with the right hand to the body, but Usyk was moving away from it, right? But fine. Takes another jab. His punches are blocked. Look, Briedis' punches have a lot more power on them, right? Usyk is using his quickness. But I don't give a shit how hard you hit your opponent's guard when you're just hitting his guard. Of course, even a little tap that's clean and bang on the face with knuckles is a better scoring blow than a huge shot that gets blocked by the guard. And that's just what it is. Maybe gets through with a little jab. Touches Usyk there, right? Holds him in place, but misses everything. Trips him up. People got excited about this stuff, but Briedis just tripped him up. Missed that. Maybe grazed him right there. I don't know. And then trips him up. And kind of... Eh, people got excited about that shit, but nothing happened. Usyk is controlling with the jab and slipping his opponent's jab, right? Maybe touched him there with the jab. Maybe another. We won't score it. Look at these body punches from Briedis. Oh, man. I might have to reinstall this player. Anyway... Looked like maybe he landed on the chest there. Briedis did. Gloves are in the way. I'm not saying he's not getting through partially, but the gl he's always hitting the glove first, right? Usually. I think we maybe skipped that, that body punch. I don't know. Anyway, my player is a little sluggish today. Body punch by Usyk. Not very well turned over, but... And a little jab. Not powerful or anything. Scoring though. There he got him with a nice jab through the guard. Briedis that is. All that shit is blocked. Usyk is winning these exchanges. Or they're at the very least they're going even. It looked to me like Usyk landed to the body. And, and Briedis punched his gloves. But that's the story of the fight. Nothing there. Try to go around the guard. Low blow by Briedis. It, it's like the... Because of fucking bums like Andre Ward, uh, people no longer seem to know what low blows are. You know what I mean? Anything below the belt is a low blow. See? That's a low blow. Keep your punches above the belt. Right? That's what they say. That's what the referee says. So if you got to keep it above the belt, on the belt, uh, maybe it's borderline. Maybe it's already a low blow. It really depends. You know what I mean? But they're not great scoring punches. That's for damn sure. If it's a gray area, it ain't a great scoring blow. See? Low blow. And Usyk says, fuck it. I'm going to throw a low blow too. Maybe Usyk took a jab there. 
Then he got him with the jab and a counter right hook. Right, set him up with the jab. Uh, partially blocked, but he got him. And even though his chin is tucked and he's protecting himself well enough, that punch lands. It's not a terrible shot. It takes two body punches back and takes a little left hook back, right? Landed a nice jab there. And two punches, but took two back and then took a little left hook. And everything else is blocked, right? But Briet just won that exchange and got him with two more punches right there. Put him on the ropes. He's winning the round right now. Clearly winning the round, right? But Usyk charges back in and, and gets his lick back, right? Bam. Blocks the body punch. Blocks all those punches. Now he's pushing him back. Gets through the guard a little with the jab and blocks everything in return. Maybe got him with the jab there. I don't know. Landed a left hand and a jab. Blocks the return. That's really grazing. Nothing really there. You know, he just keeps pecking at him with that little jab, right? He's controlling him. Backed him up with the left hand. Body punch. I guess it was low according to Bayless. Boom. Body punch. Maybe it was blocked. That wasn't. Clean shot, right? Briedis is punching his guard. And Usyk is landing his jab. And show me a punch. Even when, even when Briedis lands his power punches like hooks, right? Usyk's head is right there. It, chin is tucked. Briedis is partially hitting the shoulder, touching the glove. He's not really getting through very cleanly. But he's putting more power on his punches, generally speaking. He's just a more powerful guy. But then Usyk comes back with a little punch that does this. Because it's clean, because it's a straight punch. He doesn't put a lot of oomph on it, but it's more effective, right? It gets him out of position and it lands cleanly. And Briedis hits his guard in return, right? He's hitting his guard and missing all his punches. Takes another jab. Another clean jab, right? Nothing there. Another clean jab. Maybe he got hit with the jab there. Blocked hook. Did he just landed the cleaner punches? Well, no. Maybe he landed the better punches in this round. Usyk landed the cleaner punches. And he landed more of them. And he threw more punches. And... You know, it was, it was a very competitive, very close round. And he, but even though Briedis put a lot of power on his punches, more power on his punches, he wasn't really getting through. Usyk was the more consistent guy. Briedis had a couple of moments, and Usyk was just more and more consistent. I'm not saying that Briedis necessarily lost this round, but he didn't win it either. You want to say it's an even round? I'm fine with that. You want to bend over backwards and give it to Briedis because you hate Usyk? Well, then that's on you. But you can't tell me that Usyk didn't win this round. Let's just make it an even round. Then be fair, right? Even round. So the overwhelming majority of people gave Briedis the first four rounds or, or a lot of the rounds in the first four where the first round was really an even round, dead even round, and the fourth one was a dead even round, and the second and the third were clear Usyk rounds. So a round where Usyk doesn't dominate and destroy his opponent, just by default goes to Briedis, right? Because these people aren't boxing fans. They're not scoring boxing. They're deathly afraid of Alexander Usyk getting to Anthony Joshua and exposing him. That's what's going on here, people. At the very best, if I'm scoring in favor of Briedis, giving him every benefit of the doubt, which is biased, they went 2-2 two and two in the first four rounds. If I'm being objective, I'm saying... Usyk won two, two rounds were even. If I'm biased and I want to give Usyk every benefit of the doubt, it's four zip. So we go anywhere from two, two to four zip. But if we're fair, we're going to say two and no and two.
two rounds to Usyk, two rounds even. And these are the best rounds of Briedes, apart from the ninth round. These are the best rounds that most people thought he either won all four or, or did better than in any other moment of the fight. And he didn't even win those first four rounds. So, man, the bias is way the fuck out of hand. And or people don't know how to score boxing. And or people just don't pay attention to what's going on. And or you tell me what, man. But there's no way in fucking hell Briedis came even close to winning this fight. If you give him every single goddamn benefit of the doubt in this fight. Maybe he won five rounds. Maybe. But I struggle to give him more than four, giving him every benefit of the doubt. And that's just the truth, man. So keep on hating, suckers. This is where real boxing fans talk boxing. You know what I'm saying? Take it easy, everybody. Thank you for watching.